Gold Air and Trinette Smogwa here and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today and today happy expansion day first of all hope you're enjoying the new cards I got another deck for you I am delivering this fucking season and I'm really hyped about the decks that I'm coming up with I know I've had a bit of a hiatus you know this past month all the reaction Andy videos the lack of gameplay I was even thinking maybe I lost my deck building mojo in the process maybe I'm way too rusty but man Man, I am so like this expansion really set up a fire under me it, it got my passion back and I spent until like five in the morning literally yesterday night optimizing this deck and I am super excited to share a very strong version of Shadow Isles based Scion midrange so let's get on to it let's talk about what fall and rise is all about for you fellow smork fans this is one hell of a new toy for you. We are combining Draven with our boy Scion in, like I said, a mid-range version, aka a slower version of an aggressively oriented discard deck. But we have discard synergy within the list, but it's not the main focus of the entire build itself. The main focus of the deck is what I really like about this deck, even though, as you guys can see through our uh, distribution, that we only have nine spells, and those spells are Fading Memories, Stalking Shadows, which is card draw for units, and, um, where's the other one? <laughs> Fading Memories, and Salted Stitches, which is essentially generating a unit at burst speed. Even though it's a deck that seems very simplistic, because we're just focusing on playing units and going face, it's actually very intricate. You need to know what you're doing when piloting because the beauty of this deck is that unlike other aggro decks in which you're just basically trying to do as much damage every single turn as possible, in this deck, we're focusing on some key turns in which to deal most of our damage output. The game plan from this deck is to have a big hit in turns one or two, or potentially three, depending on, on the matchup and the draws and everything. But we wanna have a big hit off early in the match and then build up our mid-game win condition. I say mid-game because it's around turns five or potentially seven, uh, six or seven with Scion where we end up finishing the game. So let me actually explain what this is about. So first of all, we have the early game. Um, I put a Blade Squire here. No, no, no. It's actually uh, Draven's biggest fan. <laughs> I misclicked. Uh, there we go. Now it's fixed. We have an early game comprised of a lot of uh, tempo, right? We have Bark Beast alongside the new card, the Reborn Grenadier. The Reborn Grenadier is one of the best cards from this set. As you guys can see, when we discard this card, it is summoned, or we summon an exact copy of it, and it's a 3-2 with Ephemeral. We are combining with Shadow Owls for several reasons. One of the main reasons is Fading Memories, and I'm going to explain that in a bit. But we also have the likes of Bark Beast. Bark Beast alongside Grenadier can allow us for some major tempo swings as early as a turn one and is really really neat because of that it's essentially a one mana three three we have fallen rider and grave physician two other new cards from the expansion fallen rider giving us another discard outlet while grave physician alongside salt and stitches and draven himself are our sources of discard it's not that many sources of discard like it's not like a pnz noxus variant of the archetype in fact we are focusing more on being able to utilize the key discard resources that we have to get these big swings and then build up for either a Fallen Reckoner or a Scion late game win. This is the reason why we are combining Scion with Shadow Isles. And I'm very, I was very excited about this. It took me a long time to fully optimize the list and, and, and get the, the right distribution because at first I was trying to play a little bit more like controlly and being able to interact with the opponent more so I could build up for the late game. But then I just realized I gotta go face, right? And that's where incorporating stuff like Doombies really helped because Doombies can help us stay alive against opposive aggressive decks and can allow us to finish off the match when we have our opponent barely living amongst other things. It can obviously synergize really well with not only Stalking Shadows, but Fading Memories. But the key thing here is the Fallen Reckoner. The Fallen Reckoner says, when I'm summoned, Grant cannot block to the, uh, to the weakest enemy. Grant, this is a permanent effect, which is really important. You essentially remove a blocker and more importantly than not you remove a chump blocker which is phenomenal right and then we have the last breath effect of creating a risen reckoner in hand this is where the good shit starts risen reckoner is an ephemeral version of fallen reckoner but it's stronger and it's cheaper 
at that expense. It's a three mana six three with overwhelm that when summoned, you grant cannot block to the weakest enemy. So one of the cool interactions here by mixing in Shadow Owls is Fading Memories, extremely powerful card in this deck. Can do a lot of things. Can be utilized on a Reborn Grenadier to give you more uh, more fuel for your discard synergies. Can be used on Doombees, like we mentioned prior, to get a little bit of extra ping. Or it can be used on stuff like the Risen Reckoner. We can play a Risen Reckoner, Fading Memories, for three mana play another one. We played for six mana, two six threes with Overwhelm and deny two of their blockers. That is just absolutely insane pressure, right, to apply on turn six, and it is just super glorious. This is one of my favorite cards from the set just because of the synergies, but we're not even done there. We got Chronicler of Ruin that can be played onto Fallen Reckoner, which will give us a Risen Reckoner in hand, and will trigger the summon effect again, removing another blocker from the equation. Chronicler of Ruin can also be used with Scion. That's why we're playing Scion with this as well, because when we play Scion, if we have him leveled up, if we Chronicler of Ruin, we kill him and resurrect him, which means that we spawn a Scion return for free. Essentially for four mana, we play, we get a 3-3 and a 10-4 and we rally, right? With Overwhelm. That just straight up wins the game, in case you're wondering. And we can even get some spicy combos, like if it's not enough, we can Fading Memories, the Chronicle of Ruin, and go at it again that same turn, regardless of who had the attack token initially. It's just absolutely glorious. It gives us a really huge late game hit potential that can uh, decimate mid-range decks, and also allows us to not have to focus, because by playing Fallen Reckoner and Scion, Games in which we don't draw one of the other two, eventually we'll draw one of the two, especially with a full set of Stalking Shadows. So we'll always meet a certain win condition. And if not, we can just apply a lot of pressure with our Reborn Grenadiers and our Fading Memory combos alongside Stalking Shadows and Doom Beast to finish off the opponent. That is what this deck is all about. We have a one-off of Lost Soul to have a bit of an extra discard outlet, uh, but we don't really need to play more copies than it because uh, I realized, you know, early on I was playing like three copies of Lost Soul in all my Scion decks, and I realized that it's just too much because all you need is one to really get that infinite loop going on, right? So uh, two copies can be good. I like one personally and one puts in the work but you can definitely justify two in a, in a different deck really uh, we have a one-off of draven's biggest fan to allow us to uh, draw draven more often than not because draven is a very important component of this deck and we have a couple of copies of oblivious islander because oblivious islander can be used to allow us to spread out a little bit wider in turns that we're trying to finish off the opponent but just essentially uh, giving us a free 2-1, right? Or it can be used on Scion. Give him potentially ramp into Scion because we're very fast at leveling up Scion with this deck. We ramp into Scion and Scion has Ephemera, which means that when he strikes, he dies. And you guys know what happens when he dies. We get Scion returned in the process. So yeah, man, it, it, every, every minute that I spent trying to upgrade this list and make it better was so worth it because I got one hell of a lot for you guys and uh, really really proud of this creation i feel like my you know my deck building mojo is intact and i'm just uh, really happy about the results from this one and i think you guys are really going to enjoy this deck i mean not everybody you know but i think a good portion of you guys are so i'm, I'm happy about it in case you, <laughs> in case you guys get wonder i'm gonna stop talking because i'm rambling at this point thank you for watching hope you enjoy the matches stay tuned for daily legends of runeterra content in case you're wondering i upload a new deck every single day so subscribe, because it's free, free it's good. Enjoy the matches, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, here we go. So excited for this deck, man. I'm so hyped for this deck. Put so much thought into it, and we're gonna be facing off against Zix, Zareth. I really, okay, so tomorrow onwards, I will have like the actual, you know, fitting boards and guardians and all that stuff. Like, I, I know, a good portion of you probably don't care, but I I really do. Like I I really like having my you know region specific boards and everything. It's it's actually really fun for me. So this <laughs> it sucks that I can't actually. Like, if you're giving me access to, I, I mean I can't complain, right? But it's it's early access, man. Like this is a client. Why why can't you just put in all the all the stuff, you know? Hello. We're gonna lead off with the Bark Beast because we have nothing to um, Oblivious Islander here. Ba -da. 
Alright. We're getting some uh, discard options, but we're drawing a bit too many of the same cards. Let's see. Let us see. Okay. Do I like Island Keeper here? I can fade in memories, one of these salt and stitches. I'm actually gonna spread out. I was thinking of just attacking with these two, but uh, this is like five more damage that I'm threatening him with. And uh, I'm willing to sacrifice, like, you know, my Bark Beast in the process. Okay, well, that kinda sucks. But we still get him down to 11, which is really important. Question is, do I want to fade in memories this? I don't think so. I'm gonna pass. Like, Reborn Grenadier is nice, but I believe at this point, fading memories can have a lot of uh, potential value. Maybe Great Physician is the way. And now I play the Fallen Reckoner. As we attempt to push for 5 damage, we got the Doom Beast here as well. Naturally, uh, these Waste Walkers are getting a little bit spooky. But our Fallen Reckoner is something that we actually want to fall, you know? That makes sense. Okay, so we got Oblivious Islander with Scion here. enough I'm gonna block like this We go. We got Ephemeral Scion, which means we can rally here. I, I was expecting something like that, though. I mean, that's two blockers. That's two blockers. I mean, he got the third ex explosive. Like, the odds of that weren't that great. Two blockers would take away with this and this. Um, doesn't make much of a difference how this approaches. We have to just attack with everything. He can't block with one of them. Got him! Alright! He managed to stop our Scion, but we went wide, and our Doom Beast really put in the work as well. Doom Beast, one of the later additions that I put onto his deck, but really. Uh, all right, all right, all right, chill, chill, buddy. We won. It's okay. So I wasn't. I I I could have gone with the Minotaur to remove a blocker. Uh, 
that probably would have been considering how low he was maybe that would have been the better play because scion was a little bit overkill like i i, I will i will definitely admit that and playing the minotaur will remove one of their blockers and make it extremely difficult for them to to stop me but uh because they already played two of those like one mana stun landmarks i really like that landmark by the way uh we were able to like, I, I felt like I didn't have anything really to lose. Like, it was really hard for me to be stopped at that point. But you guys saw, like, what the idea of the deck is. We go wide, we hit them hard, and uh, we really put use with, uh, like, pretty much most of our cards in our deck put in the work. Uh, Fady Memory is really key card in this deck. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm really proud of this. Like, I, I spent until, like, 5 a.m. making this deck, so I'm, I'm very happy with it. So, yeah, let's go for another one. Moon Boy! Playing some Bandle City, Timo Caitlin. All right. Scion is a legitimate win condition here. The thing is, I, I would like to be able to hit him hard. So I'm gonna mulligan we'll away Stalking Shadows and Scion, and I'm gonna see if I can find uh, some early game goodness. We do find some Doom Beast. I mean, Doom Beast is not bad. I have the best job. Oh, if mushrooms could talk, I'll have what he's having. I'm gonna do this, uh, setting up the Grenadier. I mean, we could get our, our unit killed here. Yeah, Mystic Shot, but we're still getting him uh, an eight hit, yeah. We get another Axe with Draven, and we knock him down to 12, which is very important. We're, we're on a bit of a race here. Okay, that's not a bad pull. Certainly the fuzziest partner I've worked with. Now these effects aren't the worst. play the Grenadier and then I'm gonna I'm gonna follow it up with a, the uh, the twin blade revenant I, I want to get rid of this team up I don't want to draw it just yet let's see if he has an answer for this notified patrol to close in on this location we'll prepare them a nice welcome axes coming right up let me see How important is it for me to get rid of this? Time for the money maker. I've always been a fun guy.
luck. A thing. L, that's not ours. What does that for us? We're gonna play the Fallen Reckoner. That's fine. That's actually fine. Let's investigate. I played Risen Reckoner now. You dropped something. I dropped everything. I aim to win, and my aim is excellent. We gotta go as wide as we can. So we're gonna be using the Oblivious Islander for that. That's why this card is really good in this deck because not only with the combo with Scion and, and potentially other things, but it's also like just, it gives me the ability to spread out and it enhances my tempo. It just gives me like a, it's a free 2-1 essentially for this last attack, which could make the difference. How many traps are there? Four flash bombs. We want to enhance our chances. Now we're cooking. In case, in case he does get some some traps. Okay. No, no, no booby traps though. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yep, we play the Doom Beast, and we, we hit him up, and we knock him out, baby! Beautiful! All me, and maybe those other guys. Uh, all you, Draven. Always, always you. All right, it's Teemo Day. This time with Freljord instead. So no Otterpus. Uh, we got the Salt and Stitches with the Lost Soul. That already is pretty good. I also like, I, I like this hand generally. I mean, it could be a little bit quicker, but I like the fact that I get to attack turn two with um, with this. I even have that. All right, what, what are we discarding here? I'm gonna keep this fading memories. All right, five damage, turn one, or turn two. It's a good start. We have the Risen Rider here as well. Keeping pace. They'll never see these coming. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Like, normally he's like, oh, you have no way to enable this Bark Beast, but the thing is... You can't afford to take that much damage. You cannot afford to take that much damage. So he does have Bird of Steel. Or maybe you can! That's, that's great for me. Yeah. Oh, 
on foot. Very nice. I'm gonna play the Fallen Reckoner. Finding details is my duty. I'll take it. How much mana is that? Six. Let's get it. Would a mushroom help? There's a flash freeze. We're gonna need more than that. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. <laughs> I tell ya, a lot of thought went to this deck. I optimized the shit out of this, and it it's it's pumping out. It's pumping out wins. <laughs> this this regular combo with the fading memories. Oh, and the doom beast. Like I can't believe I doubted adding doom beast. Holy shit! All right. Okay, zillion. Zillion Serith. Time Bombs. I gotta try that combination, actually. That looks pretty neat. We got the Fallen Reckoner. Uh, we always keep Draven in our open hand. The Fallen Reckoner is a bit too early for, though. I'm gonna drop that and Stalking Shadows. I always like to keep Fading Memories. It's a very powerful card in this deck. Even though I, I do need some, some more pieces here. There, there's always a risk. Oh, he's playing. I mean, if, if, if you're going Mata Shurima, it's a free, it's a free landmark, right? Like it makes sense. All right, there's your boy. Haven't I been here before? Death is transient. As long as the body holds blood. in one symbol. Let's boogie. I knew he wouldn't block here. So let's take it easy and let's pile up the axes so we can go a Maiwa motion that on him. We got these fading memories. Which can put in the work. I think we just played the twin blade revenant here. You over there! Interesting. I mean, I'm definitely getting this block. The question is, do I take this block right here? I mean, I'm gonna force him to block otherwise by removing this. I take a little bit less damage and uh, I get another axe. And with this fading memories, I can just start putting in the work here. He drew into Sarath, like pumped you up. You they'll die of boredom? I think this is fine. <laughs> Get the lost soul back. We're not overdrawing either. Barely. Alright, let's think here. We could potentially do this at burst speed. We can go boom, 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 boom. Like, we can pack in some heat here. How big of a hit are we looking at here? One, five. It's potentially really powerful, right? Okay, so if you block one of these, we have the other ones. And uh, we're looking at... Potential Draven level up as well. I think I like this. It's really aggressive, but I think I like it. Victims. 
Look at that. Look at that. If he has like uh, quicksand, we don't mind. Like our Draven will still strike and level up. I mean, right now we're representing Lethal. What we're also doing is we're preventing him from playing Xerath this turn. Because we're, we're going at him with so much tempo. <laughs> I guess. Damn, I'm good. I guess he just left. <laughs> I don't blame him. <laughs> All right. Sivir Ziggs. Took people long enough to play Sivir. Don't play Sivir in the early access. Uh, Alright, whatever. Uh, we're gonna drop Chronicler of Ruin. I'm gonna keep everything else here. That's a pretty nice curve. Chronicler of Ruin is not really a 4 drop. It's more like our, our late game bomb. We have the Bark Beast. I mean, we are missing some components here. Like, we're not looking at a very nice hit early on unless we draw into something we can discard here. Nope. We're just gonna get the damage here. I guess we'll have to open up if it's made of sand, I later. Can ride it. I have to play Draven next turn. I can play Draven on turn four. Can I find a gift for an action? Right, Arda? Yawn. So done. So tired of this guy. All right, let's see what we get. There we go. This. Maybe I should have played Draven first. I'm not sure. Another day, another explosion. I could have used the Fading Memories on, on the Grenadier, but I think uh, Fallen Reckoner is likely to be my win condition here. Chase what you want without mercy. It's pretty much perfect. Play Riz and Reckoner. Sun's beneath me and winds behind me. Damn, I'm good. Totally not the Minotaurs. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry that I didn't get to showcase Scion properly. Like I've had, I've had, like I've been recording for like over 40 minutes, and you know I'm running out of time. I, I spent so much time optimizing this deck. I got a lot of wins with um, with Scion and uh, Chronic Lord of Ruin in my playtesting. But you know when you re record a live session, sometimes uh, you don't get to showcase some aspects of the deck. And uh, like I said, I'm running a little bit bad on time. 
the early access event is gonna end shortly and I want to make sure that I have this video ready I, I want to mm, spend some time uh, you know making sure that the deck tech is is properly narrated and stuff uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed nonetheless like we got to showcase the earlier curve aspect of this deck and more than anything the fallen reckoner which I'm just as happy of because the fall like I said this deck has two win conditions fallen reckoner and scion and it's just really really strong uh, both of them uh, scion excels more in mid-range matchups where you know we have a, a little bit more time uh, I mean like 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 I saw there we were one turn away from from putting scion to work and the idea of playing Scion and then the next turn just Chronicler of Ruin for the win is really strong. But I also love Chronicler of Ruin with Fallen Reckoner as well. Super fun deck. And very, very strong. Through my place, that seemed very strong. I mean, we didn't lose a single game. And uh, we had one hell of a session. And we beat Sivir in the end, which just makes me really happy. <laughs> so, fuck yeah. I'll showcase Scion some other time, some more. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Like, I, I feel it's a bit bittersweet because, you know, it, it's more than anything, it's about the champions. And I didn't feel like I got to, I mean, I didn't get to showcase it, you know? So I, I know a lot of you, or I, I don't know a lot, but a, a, por a portion of you will be a little bit upset about that. But hopefully you guys don't mind. Uh, I just want to make sure the daily uploads keep flowing and the decks that I share with you guys are of quality. Like I said, this expansion has lit that fire under me and I'm really happy with uh, my deck building so far. So tomorrow we'll be back at it with something new. And hopefully you guys have fun with this deck. This deck slaps. So at least, I mean, it's a small sample size, but for me it's slapping. And it's fun. So hopefully you guys have enjoy it. Yeah, leave a like for some Scion and more than anything Minotaur Reckoner. Love ya. Have a soul day. I'll see you tomorrow.